my channel. If you're new here, my name is Benita, where we talk about all the things that we love as it relates to lifestyle and luxury. Today, we have another Fast Five Friday. Today, we're gonna talk about five of the best Louis Vuitton bags for first time luxury purchasers. If you like this type of video, I'm gonna assume that you are a luxe lover like myself. Please like and subscribe before you leave, but without further ado, we're gonna get started. Before we get started, I wanted to show you guys my shirt. If you follow me over on Instagram, I know you've already seen it, but shout out to Tan at The Unfrumpy Mommy Life here on YouTube and also on Instagram. She designed t-shirts and other little fun things. Um, I, I, I would consider it easy luxury wear. So let me see if I can stand up for you guys in my shirt but if not I'll insert some pictures here but just please go ahead and check her out another boss babe another you know mommy boss another woman of color doing her things and you know as women women of color all women we all need to support each other so shout out to tan and if you like this t-shirt she has plenty of other things I'll link her down below. So people ask me this all the time in luxury Q and A's and general conversation over on Instagram. They say, okay, Benita, so I'm gonna be starting my luxury journey or my, you know, my luxury collection. What, in your opinion, should be the bags that I look for? What are the best bags to buy if you're just starting out purchasing luxury? Um, you guys know that Louis Vuitton is my number one luxury brand. It has my heart. I love all, not all, I love plenty of luxury brands, but Louis Vuitton just, just has a special place in my heart. So today we're only going to talk about Louis Vuitton, but maybe this should be a series. We can talk about other brands, but today we're only going to talk about Louis Vuitton and the five bags, in my opinion, that will be good for someone, you know, as a first purchaser just starting out. Okay, so the first bag that would be great for a first luxury purchase, in my opinion, of course, would be the Speedy. The Speedy in all sizes, all canvases, I love a good Speedy. And here's mine. I'm not taking it this week, so it is stuffed, um, but usually I don't have any liners or any stuffing because you know I love the sag. But to me, I think a Speedy even a bandolier would be fine, but a speedy, like I said, in all sizes would be good because it can go from day to night. For me, what's important when you're making a decision about your first bag, you need to pick a bag that you're gonna probably take every day because you're gonna be so proud of this bag, you saved for it, you worked hard for it. So I would choose a bag that could go that's big enough that you can take it during the day, put all of your things in there, and also a bag can go that can go day to night. All these bags that I choose, I have that in mind, the size and day to night. And again, this is just my opinion, but if you're looking for something else, like a certain leather or a certain canvas, add that to your list. But for me, if you're asking me, in my opinion, what is a good bag for a first purchase from Louis Vuitton, my number one is going to be a Speedy. Speedy Bandolier, Speedy 25, Speedy 30, Speedy 35. Um, I believe they still make the Speedy 40. Whatever size works best for your lifestyle, but a Speedy. Because you can, again, you can take this during the day. You can also dress it up with some scarves or bandeaus and you can take it and make it a little more classy and you can take it at night because it has a handle. If you get the bandolier type, you can take the strap off. You can wear it crossbody. If you do get the bandolier, it's very versatile. So I would definitely choose as my number one first purchase a Speedy. So the next bag that I would choose as a first purchase would be the Alma. And I would go with the Alma BB. I love the Alma. I love the silhouette of the Alma. So, but when I was thinking about if this is my first bag, I wouldn't get the original MM without the strap. I would do the BB. I would do it because it has the strap. And that goes, that checks the box again for the versatility of the bag. Again, it has a handle. You can take the uh, strap off and it can go into night. I'll put a, a bandeau on it. Just, you know, um, dress it up with different outfits and see what works for you. And if I think about what canvas, I would do the Damier Bean. That's the one I would do. I really would, for me, personal opinion, again, I think that the Alma looks best in the Damier Bean. And then second, um, it, I would choose the traditional monogram. I think it's too much vaquetta for that small Alma. I like it better in the larger MM Alma, 
But if we're choosing Emma BB, it definitely would be the Damier B. The third bag that's on my list that I think would be a great um, first purchase for luxury is going to be the Pochette Matisse. <laughs> I know the drama behind this bag. I personally don't have one, but in the back of my mind, I really love the, the Matisse. I don't have one because when I went to go purchase one, my essay, she said, mm, you need to think about it because even with the newer versions, they were still seeing a lot of um, wear around the glazing. It was cracking. They still were having issues. I haven't heard now. Some people got, I want to say, I guess, lucky and got a great bag within that batch and haven't had any problems. And I'm referring to the monogram one. Now, you can get the Matisse in leather, but I know for sure it comes in en prompt. So I guess with the history of the issue that the Matisse has had, I would say maybe go for the uh, en prompt, but talk to a sales rep, a client advisor, and just to see what their thoughts are. People love this bag. I secretly still want one, honestly. And maybe it's because it's like the bad boy of Louis Vuitton. You know, you want something that you can't have. I look at that bag often. I think about it on the pre-love market, but I'm afraid to buy pre-love because those are the ones that probably were sold because they had the issues. So if I get one, it definitely will be brand new from the store. And it, I mean, it checks out the boxes. The size is really good. You can wear a crossbody, has a little handle. You can take off the, um, the strap and just carry it by the handle. I've seen people just put um, bandeaus around the handle to again, dress it up. So pochette Matisse definitely makes. The fourth bag that makes the list as a great first luxury buy would be the multi pochette. <laughs> I know, the drama, again. This bag, people are sick of seeing this bag. People are sick of seeing this bag. It's been trending for the past, what, two to three years now. But if you take the trend away from the bag and really look at what you get for the bag, now I know it's had price increases. I know it definitely has because it's so popular. But perhaps if you can find one pre-loved perhaps, or even, I mean, you're saving, right? You're, you're ready to buy your first luxury purchase. You have the money. So why not pull the trigger on it? Because it's really a good bag. If you look at that bag, it again, checks all the boxes. It can go easily from day to night with the strap. Then you have the other two pochette pieces that can come apart. So even at night, if you just wanna wear the little dainty pochette, you can, you know, you can wear that with it. Um, if you want to just take off the front piece of the pochette and just wear it crossbody with the one, you can. Or you can put the gold chain on the bigger pochette and put it under your arm. I mean, I would. I mean, I think it's definitely worth it. You know, don't shoot the messenger, but... I really think if we're looking at cost per wear, we're looking at day to night, we're looking at size, and these are the kind of things you wanna look at when you're buying your first luxury purchase, definitely the multi pochette now what also comes is just been recently released in all types of fabrics and styles but another one in that same pochette line would be the wave version of the multi pochette it only comes with one bag though but it has the little corn purse there and it's fully leather and it has the chain that one is a dressier version. I would probably lean toward that one because I think it would be better in different settings. I think the original pochette, uh, multi pochette, looks a little casual and it depends on your lifestyle. But if we're thinking about wearing this bag across events and across different environments and opportunities, I think the leather version would probably serve you a little bit better. And the last bag, number five, that would definitely make the list as a great first luxury purchase would be the Clooney BB or the Grinnell bag. Now, people hardly ever speak of these bags. The Grinnell is, is new to me. I saw it one day just searching <laughs> the website and it kind of, you know, caught my eye. But the Clooney has been around for a while. The Clooney, again, it's a good size. It has a strap and it has a handle. The strap makes it more casual. So you can kind of see, you can wear that during the day, pops of color. 
take the strap off and then you can definitely wear that at night. You can also purchase another strap for the bag and just have a leather strap for the bag. It doesn't have to be a Louis Vuitton leather strap, but just a Vaqueta type strap. Um, and that will kind of tone it down as well. So I really think the Clooney BB is a perfect one. Another one, because I couldn't choose between the two, so they share this number five spot, is going to be the Grinnell. And the Grinnell comes in a MM size, a PM size, and then like a Grinnell pochette. And I'll pop in pictures of all three of those. I love all three, so I couldn't choose between which one would be the best for the first time purchaser. I love all three. You could pick one of them, you know, which best works with your style. It's a leather bag. You can get the gold. You can get matte hardware. And it can easily go from day to night. It's more of a professional bag. So if you work in an office, you can take it every day to work. Um, it just has that one Louis Vuitton stamp on it um, on the hardware. So it's not, you know, really busy with the monogram if you don't like the monogram. And it's so classy. It's, you can easily take it at night. You can dress it down with the crossbody. I mean, I think it's a great purchase. So guys, that's it. Those are my five best Louis Vuitton bags for the first time a luxury purchaser. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Guys, I hope you like this video. It has been a week. I tell you, I didn't think this video would go live today, but it did. And summer is coming and I just cannot wait to do more videos for you guys. Go ahead and, and um, in the comments down below, tell me what type of videos you'd like to see for me this summer. I have something fun coming up, I believe, for the next uh, Fast Five Friday, if it can work out. Also too, my birthday's coming up in May, so something fun's coming there. And guys, the giveaway. The giveaway ends next week on April 30th, so make sure if you have not entered the giveaway, do so. All the information on how to do it will be down below. Um, I think that's it. We talked about Instagram. You know we have a podcast. And guys, I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you here for another Fast Five Friday.